exclusive. Okay. So. Yeah, that looks like Kill Bill. Right? That kid looks like Kill Bill. And so in the back he says, he's almost dead anyway. Okay. But overall, if you take this part away, that's a pretty cool band. I mean, I like the theme and you know, bloody and everything. Hey guys, Tony Soy Sasa Sass, and welcome to another cigar review. Today, we have a themed cigar, and this is called uh, La Palina KBTAA XX 2022 exclusive. Okay. So basically, obviously, it's Kill Bill themed. Um, it's got a little bit of this pseudo Japanese theme to it. And um, yeah, and a really odd shape. Okay, this is 6x52 diadema shape. Uh, the wrapper is Honduras Corojo, binder is Honduras Double Criollo, and the filler is Nicaraguan. Um, Corojo and Quill. So it's tried to generate this pseudo, uh, sweet and Cubanesque taste to it from what it sounds like, but it's really a dark color for what it is, right? And well, obviously, I, I originally thought about this one when I saw on a half wheel back in January. And I thought it was going to be a 2023 release. So I went all over the place and I saw these. And I'm like, why is it 2022? I want 2023. So when is 2023 coming out? And um, I keep asking, I keep waiting. And it turns out this is what's the one that they decided to release, not 2023. They never released a 2023. So that's a problem. The uh, only thing I can do is basically um, guide this. All right. Um, let's see if there's any particular note on this thing. Uh, when I say note, I mean information based on the series. So the KB series, there's, uh, five of them. Part one, part two, part three, part four, and the TAA exclusive. Um, and obviously they were different sizes. The first one was four and a quarter by 40. And then 6x40, 5x52, 6x54, and now this one 6x52. So. Mm, Alright, the price found it. It's $12.50 uh, $12 per cigar. They made 750 boxes. Um, yeah, I probably will still buy this box to collect because I actually thought that box was pretty cool, but I don't know why I didn't get it. Anyways, let's get started. Like a chocolatey woodsy smell. All right. Okay. The draw is horrible. That's because there's like, you know, obviously no opening. So I was worried for a second. I like, oh, wait, there's no. 
Whoa, what the hell? Uh, it's a taste between a old box slash cocoa. That's what I taste. So let's let it up. See where that takes us. I honestly don't like this kind of thing. I don't know why people do it. Makes it harder to get it started. Wow. Okay. A salty. Woodsy you know? A little bit of pepper. Definitely salty. Definitely salty. Wow. Definitely salty. It's like a woodsy slash old box taste. And pepper. Maybe a little bit closer to a bell pepper note, but it's spicy. Some some sort of Lurking spice of some sort, like baking spice. It's a little bit of earthiness, if you taste like, yeah, a little bit of earthiness. Yeah, and lingering a little bit of a bitter note. Okay. Obviously, I had to smoke until this whole thing opens up. So, let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. It's a woodsy and a cocoa note. That's pretty consistent on this cigar. However, the build quality of this thing. Yeah, that looks like Kill Bill, right? That kid looks like Kill Bill. And also, I noticed one thing. I was reading this band. Let's take a look at this band right now. Dry thing is insane. People, I don't know if they did it on purpose. If they did it on purpose, fine, fine, all right? All right, but if they didn't do it on purpose, people need to stop. Stop looking up other languages using Google Translate. So in the back, it says, it's almost dead anyway. Okay, fits the theme, the front. Look good. But over here, that way. There is a line of Japanese that says, Hoan no, a uh, Hoan o Korosu. Hoan no Korosu is Kill Bill. But is Kill Bill like killing a legislature bill? It's killing a law. You know, when you introduce a law, it's a bill. It says kill a law. That's kill bill. Come on. I, I mean, I, I, I might not know the movie very well, but I believe that she's want to kill a person named Bill because they ruined her wedding. Right? So. Stop. Stop looking for things that you got to put on your thing with Google Translate. Go find somebody and said, hey, I know you know some Japanese. I know you have a Japanese friend. Ask them, how did I write Kill Bill? Now, 
maybe this is not licensed by Kill Bill, so you can't use Kill Bill. You gotta use Kill a legal bill. But that's stupid. <laughs> you know, it's just like I don't know. I I I cringe whenever I see a a, a a bad translation or something. You know, like you often see like tattoos and stuff like that that has like bad translation and doesn't what really mean what you thought it means. Like that bothers me. That bothers me a lot. It drives me insane. So, yeah. But overall, if you take this part away, that's a pretty cool band. I mean, I like the theme and you know, bloody and everything. The blood even shines. See that? So I like that. It doesn't look like anything, but like look at turn, you can see those blood lines. It's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. That 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 I like pretty cool. So yeah, first start, not too bad. Very mellow uh, in terms of flavor, but you can taste that flavor. Uh, strains are roughly about medium right now. Um, yeah, other than the bill quality, I have I have, I have to kind of fix it a little bit in a minute. But we'll continue to smoke this. The draw is still kind of like screwed up, but we'll see how that goes. Be right back. Second third, it's actually getting better. It's actually getting more cocoa and sweet. Yeah. So second third is uh, light cocoa, earthiness, a little bit of spice, a little bit of sweetness. And but then like it, when it ends of that second third, it starts to get really sweet. Like you start to have a, a more sweet tone towards that cocoa. So second, like third, the last third is actually getting good. It's getting into there. I can taste it. So second third, not too bad. Last third, I'm really looking forward to it because now it, I, you can taste the difference. It's still a solid medium, though. It's solid medium. So I think this cigar is price worthy. Start to at least construction got better a little bit, not a lot. So, and I think this is a good conversation to go because I'm having a conversation right now outside of the recording with guys, but um, it, it's really enjoyable while um, I'm having that conversation, but I'm not forgetting to taste because the taste is just slowly getting better as it goes. So, yeah, not a bad cigar, last third, be right back. Okay, done. So um last third didn't come out to be the way i thought was gonna be i thought it was gonna be nice sweet and cocoa but flavor died flavor died a little bit if you ride your hill you got you got pretty good flavor but flavor died a little bit in terms of tasting not retro hill retro hill no nah, it's not bad you get a little bit of pepper you get a little bit of, like spicy you get a little bit of earthiness you get a little bit of woodsiness you get cocoa and get sweetness. So it's not bad. It's not a bad cigar. But for me to put on the price, uh, I have to factor in everything, right? So here's the thing. You buy the stick on a single stick, I, I'll give it $10. It's a $10 cigar, all right? If you buy the thing with the box, I will give you $12.50 because it's collectible, right? So yeah, it's it's worth its price, but it, it's kind of a little bit, a little bit disappointing. It didn't get to the way I wanted it um, in terms of flavor. Uh, it did give me the flavor at Retro Hill, but not like not when I'm you know talking and not really giving that Retro Hill as many as many times as I should, right? And there's gonna be a lot of people that doesn't Retro Hill too. So I, I think there there is. Uh, Maybe let it sit. I don't know. I don't think let it sit is going to do any better. Yeah. So yeah, $10, $12.50 if you buy the box. I, I can understand that $12.50 for the box and design and all that stuff. Sure, I'll give it to you that. So yeah, it's a, a worthy cigar. It's worth that price. <sighs> what I buy it again? If I buy it again, I'd buy the entire box. I need that box. Cigar, uh, it's... it's Yeah, it's it's not a bad cigar, but I wouldn't say it's out of this world cigar either. It's ten bucks. Ten bucks for what it is. Unfortunately, yeah. I was really hoping that by the cigar itself it would be like twelve dollars worth of goods goodies, but with the box is twelve fifty. Without it, ten. If I buy it, I will buy an entire box. Just so that I can collect it. Where I go back and continue to smoke it regularly, probably not. Probably not. It's not something that I would do for. So yeah. 
Oh, I should minus 50 cents. Yeah, $12. $12 if you buy the box. Minus 50 cents for that bad translation. Okay, that bad translation. I almost forgot about that. Bad translation. Take 50 cents off that. You know, oh my God. That's such a bad translation. So yeah, this cigar is worth it. I do recommend it to get one and try one. Uh, and then see if that's something that, that you like to collect. I like the way they designed it. So, um, you know, the way they, they put it together it has that uh, murder mystery feel to it. So, not too bad. I like it. But the cigar itself, it tastes like a, a, a well blended cigar that didn't deliver to its full potential. There you go. All right. So, yeah, that's it for this particular cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe. Try to get to 1,000 subscribers this year. And um, and make sure to share and comment. I'd like to uh, know if you smoke the cigar and what you think about it. It does feel like the cigar continues to have a, like a darker taste to it. And try to get strong enough to get to that flavor note. But uh, it, it almost feel like if this was a Toro or something like that. If the... Or if they move the flavor profile just a little bit forward, you'll get the most enjoyment. Right? You feel like it's too short and never got there, but you could have. Uh, that's how it feels like. But, you know, cigar is cigar. It really depends, you know, how your flavor profile, how you taste it uh, in a different uh, criteria to get to that level. Right? So I, I think in the cigar, they're priced well, but it's just... I feel a little bit disappointed because I was looking for that at the second, uh, like at the end of second, third. I was like, oh, okay, it's coming up. It's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. It never came. Not that it never came. It, it, it tastes like that, but it never got to that full body that I wanted. Okay. So yeah, good cigar. Why did I go back to that summary? Anyway, that's it for this cigar review. I will see you guys the next one. Bye guys.